Hi everyone, it's Kelly here. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time. Welcome back if you've been before. Lovely to have you either way. On this channel we talk books and today I am recording a very very rare video for me which is a TBR video. I know a lot of people on booktube will record their TBRs each month. Um, not so for me because I very rarely keep them. <laughs> so I've done, I used to do them in the past and then I just wasn't keeping to them so therefore it just seemed kind of pointless for me to um, to do that. However, I have a goal. I have something to work towards this month uh, in the month of September so I um, thought I would pop on and share with you what I am planning to read. The reason that I have um, this kind of like momentum I guess to uh, to record this video is because I'm going to be attempting to join in with Scott over at Gunpowder, Gunpowder Fiction and Plot uh, as he is hosting uh, hashtag Straya September this month um, as a reading challenge. So uh, I will link to his announcement video for that um, down in the comments but also I will uh, sorry, not the comments, in the description. Uh, and I will also link to it up in the cards if you want to go and check that out before um, and find out more about this either before you watch the rest of this video or afterwards to kind of see if you want to join in yourself. Um, but what I uh, like about this is there's two ways to participate. Number one, he's calling it the Burke and Wills option. And for those of you who don't know, Burke and Wills were two explorers that got... Uh, horrifically lost um, and I'm fairly confident eventually died out in the outback in Australia um, so this is the 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 just kind of wing it kind of version um, and to do that you just do whatever you want you read it read an Australian book doesn't matter what there's no further nothing further required and you have you have participated in this challenge um, but what I'm going to attempt to do is to, to go the option two uh, way which is the one that has the prompts um, so I'm going to tell you what those prompts are and then I'm going to tell you the book that I am planning to read for that prompt now I have kind of uh, tried to kind of read uh, choose books that I kind of already wanted to read um, so that it felt like I wasn't kind of impinging on other kind of projects that I've got going on so several of the books here that I'm going to show you today are going to be books that I'm was planning to read anyway because various projects that I've got going on in terms of my reading. Um, and then others are just books that have been on my TBR for a while. So um, yeah, let's get into it. So prompt number one is read a book by an Australian author. Nice and easy, could be anything, any Australian author. The book that I have selected for this first prompt uh, is this one. It's called Domestic Interior and it is by Fiona Wright. This is a poetry collection and I've got a bit of a poetry project going on at the moment. Um, so that's why I have chosen this. Um, it has a sticker on the front that says Prime Minister's Literary Awards 2018 shortlist. So this is a book that has been involved in a prize that I'm not particularly familiar with, but it's certainly one that has... Um, been recognized to have had so, at least some kind of literary merit. Um, I've never read any of Fiona Wright's poetry before so I'm looking forward to reading this collection. Um, it's a nice thin volume so I'm hoping that it won't take me too long to get through uh, this one and I should be able to tick this one off really really easily. Okay so that's prompt number one. Prompt number two is deadly book. So read a book by an indigenous author and for this prompt I've chosen possibly the quintessential book that you could choose for this prompt and that is The Yield by Tara June Winch. This was the Miles Franklin Literary Award winner in 2020 and I have not read it yet and I really really want to. Um, so uh, I am looking forward to reading this one. Now this one is a little bit more chunky so I think this will probably be the book that is like the big challenge of what can I get through this book by the end of September. We shall see. Um, so yeah, we're going to give it a try. Uh, so basically, um, let me tell you a little bit about this one. I didn't tell you about the last one because it's a poetry collection. There's not really much to say other than it's poetry. Um, however, however, this one is fiction. So let me tell you the basic idea of this one. Knowing that he will die, he will soon die, Albert Poppy Gondiwindi takes pen to paper. His life has been spent on the banks of Murrumbi River at Prosperous House on Massacre Plains. Albert is determined to pass on the language of his people and everything that was ever remembered. 
he finds the words on the wind. August Gondwindi has been living on the other side of the world for 10 years when she learns of her grandfather's death. She returns home for his burial, racked with grief and burdened with all she tried to leave behind. Her homecoming is bittersweet as she confronts the love of her kin and news that Prosperous is to be repossessed by a mining company. Determined to make amends, she endeavours to save their land, a quest that leads her to the voice of her grandfather and into the past, the stories of her people, the secrets of the river. It sounds amazing. Um, I've also been recommended this book directly by my mom. So, and my mum's taste is pretty similar to mine. So I think I'm really going to enjoy this book um, and get a lot out of it. So I'm looking forward to reading it. Um, but let's just see if I can finish it in September. We will do our best. That's all we can ask. Okay, prompt number three. It says, immigrant book. Read a book by an immigrant or the family member of the immigrant. The book that I've chosen is a book by, an, it's another poetry collection. Um, this one is by Omar Say. Uh, I looked up how to say his name. I'm going to try and do it correctly. Saker, I think is how you say it. So it's Omar Saker's collection, These Wild Houses. Um, so Omar Saker is a poet based in Western Sydney, um, which is the city in which I live. Um, he uh, is also a very well-respected poet, someone who has been quite prolific in terms of his output. I am really looking forward to reading this collection. Again, it's nice and thin, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get through it, you know, just by reading a couple of poems each day maybe, or, you know, we'll see how we do. Um, but, yeah, I'm looking forward to this collection. Again, poetry. Love it. So um, those are that's now my poetry done. So I've got two poetries to fiction. So the last prompt, uh, and this is prompt number four, read a book by an author from a state or territory you haven't read from yet in this readathon. So all three of the authors here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, because I did look it up, but it was a little bit ago, so hopefully I'm remembering correctly, are all based in New South Wales, which is the state in which I live. So the last um, book is by an author who is based or com comes from Queensland, and that is Mullumbimby by Melissa Lukashenko. Um, I recently spoke about this book um, when I did my Try a Chapter video recently, which I will link up in the cards and also down in the description. Um, I literally didn't even finish reading the chapter and I already knew that I wanted to read this book. Uh, last year I read Too Much Lip, which is my second read of um, that book by Melissa Lukashenko and I love it. Um, so I'm looking forward to Malambimi. I think there are a lot of aspects of Melissa Lukashenko's writing that really work well for me as a reader um, and I respect her greatly. Um, so I am looking forward to reading this one. So hopefully I'm going to do my best, but that's my little TBR um, from September. Uh, for September, not from September. Haven't read them yet. So <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's let's cross our fingers and hope that I can actually get through all of these four books. Um, in the meantime, I've got other books on the go because I've always got other books on the go. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how we do. Hopefully I'll be able to report back when I do my wrap up for September that I've gotten through all four of these and also finished off several other books that I've had on the go for a little while, including two buddy reads that I really, really want to finish this month. So I'm going to try my absolute best <laughs> to do that. Um, so anyway. A very rare video for me here doing a, a TBR, but I hope you've enjoyed it and I um, would love to hear all about it down in the comments if you have read any of these um, and have any recommendations for me. Alright, thanks guys. I will catch you on the next one. Bye!